Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the San Francisco 49ers franchise here in week three, Thursday night football against the Los Angeles Rams. We're home today in Levi Stadium, where your San Francisco 49ers are taking the field here today to try to slow down this very, very uh, good offense. All of a sudden, the Los Angeles Rams are clicking with new head coach Sean McVay, and their offense with Jared Goff and Todd Gurley has been tremendous. We're looking to stop them here today. Week 3, Thursday night football. Can't get much better than this, even though most players hate the Thursday night football aspect of the game. We're looking for a big win here today. Trying to take down the Rams in this big battle. We're going to get this thing going. We are going to be, I believe, kicking it off to Jared Goff in the offense. It's going to be a big start here for the defense as Jared Goff takes the field. He's had 374 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions on about 59% completion percentage. So he's going to take the field. It's a first and 10 for Jared Goff in the offense. It's going to start out with a play-action play. Jared Goff going to step back, throws left. He finds Everett, the tight end, for first down and more. He makes two guys miss, and he's finally taken down already into 49er territory. A big gain there, 27 yards. Now Jared Goff, another play-action throw down the seam. He finds Sammy Watkins. The acquisition from the Buffalo Bills right before the season start. Two for two, 65 yards for Jared Goff. That's second and nine. Todd Gurley's going to finally get a rush. He's going to rush for four yards there on the left side. It's going to be a third and five empty set. Jared Goff dropping back, throwing right. He finds his receiver who's just outside the end zone. And they're actually going to say that's fourth and inches from the one yard line. So the Rams tack on a field goal. And here comes Brian Hoyer. A rough year so far, 411 yards, one touchdown, three picks, and a 53% completion percentage. Those are some terrible stats. We're looking to improve, on that, uh, improve from that today. First and 10 throw and left. Going to find the receiver there for a six-yard completion, but now third and four. It's Hoyer dropping back. He's going to throw it. He's going to fight Carlos Hyde out of the backfield, run a nice route there, pickup of 11 yards. Now first and 10, Brian Hoyer's dropping back. He's going to be hit. He's sacked. He fumbles. It's picked up by George Kittle, who runs forward. But Robert Quinn gets in there. He gets a sack. It's third and 15. It's going to be Hoyer throwing left. He's going to find Pierre Garçon. That's the one guy you got to look for. That's the one playmaker on this offense beside Carlos Hyde, the one playmaker in the receiving game that can really do a lot for Brian Hoyer. That's a good target there. And there's a six-yard rush for Carlos Hyde. Now it's a third and four. Hoyer's dropping back. He steps up in the pocket no one's getting open and there is Quinn once again his second sack of the drive second sack of the day and the 49ers have to kick a field goal here's Jared Goff getting outside the pocket a nice throw to Sammy Watkins who gets in the 49er territory another big game Jared Goff is four for four for 107 yards he's gonna continue five completions for 110 with a three yard pass to Everett now second and seven Goff steps up he finds his receiver Watkins who gets blown up by Eli Harold but hangs on for the 16-yard completion. Now 2nd and 10. It's Todd Gurley doing some spinning, some things unnecessary. And he picks up a few there. So it's 3rd and 6 now from the 17-yard line. Goff's dropping back. Goff is throwing over the middle. He just misses his receiver. That was a touchdown. The 49ers get a break. It's 1st and 20 after a holding call. We give it to Carlos Hyde who loses 2 yards. He has 4 rushes for 3 yards here. It's 2nd and 22. Hoyer scrambling right. Throwing it across his body. He finds Goodwin who's taken down awkward and it's actually going to be a personal foul face mask on the play. You never want to see a QB thrown across the field like that, especially on a drag route while he's being almost double covered. But we get lucky there completing the pass and then getting a 15-yard face mask penalty. Now first and 10 play action. Hoyer's just going to step up in the pocket. He's going to take what he's given. He picks up 7 yards on the scramble there. Now we're starting the second quarter. It's second and 3 play action for Hoyer. He's going to scramble right with this one. Tries to check it down to Kittle, who's hit hard, and that's incomplete. It's third and 3. Hoyer... Found an open, looked for an open Carlos Hyde, but Ogletree gets in there. He gets the pressure and the sack, and that is going to give us make us punt the ball right back to the Rams. Here's Todd Gurley trying to get something going. He picks up two. It's going to be a third and eight. A halfback draw. Playing this safe here. Gurley makes one miss, and then he's tackled after a two-yard rush. Some bad play call in there, it looks like, by the Rams offense. But we force the punt right back and get the ball back to Brian Hoyer, who in first and ten is getting sacked by Brockers. His defensive line has been in the backfield all day. It's third and 18. Hoyers is going to have to check this one down. The good one who he gets nothing there. He only picks up a couple, 
But we'll have to punt it back here to Tav Tavon Austin, who fields this one. He's going to spin left, a nice move there. He's going to be past midfield. He's going to cut the middle, makes another man miss, gets blown up, but he picks up a nice gain on the return. And it's starting from the 36 of the 49ers here, this Rams offense is. And on first and 10, they're going to find the tight end there for a big completion. Now first and 10 from the 16, sending a man in motion. That's Everett going to give this one to Todd Gurley right out the middle. He cuts back, he makes one man miss, and he gets forward for a nice gain of 8 there. It's second and two now. Going to go right back to Todd Gurley. He's going to run through a defender, get around another, and Todd Gurley, that physical poise he has, he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. The first touchdown of the day goes to the Los Angeles Rams halfway through the second quarter here. It's a 13-3 lead. Here's Hoyer on first and 10, and Joe Staley cannot stop Robert Quinn. It's another sack of loss of 8. Now here's Carlos Hyde on second and 18, losing more yardage. He has six rushes for one lousy yard. It's third and 19. Hoyer's just going to check this one down to Goodwin. Goodwin's going to do what he can, but he can't do much. He picks up up a nice gain of about 10. And we're going to have to punt it right back to the Los Angeles Rams offense. Second and seven, they're going to run a halfback draw. Gurley makes a few miss. He picks up eight yards in another first down. He's got 11 rushes for 42 yards. A lot better than our one yard rushing from Carlos Hyde. First and 10, Goff get a throw left. He's missed a couple of guys here today. His two incompletions have been open receivers he's just missed. It's third and eight. Third and eight now. It's just over two minutes to play. We're going to get him this time. DeForest Buckner gets in the backfield and sacks Jared Goff off so two minutes to play here the 49ers offense gonna try get, trying to get something going for once today it's second and four Hoyer's gonna scramble right after a rush by Carlos Hyde he's gonna get around the edge he picks up the first down gets tackled out of bounds but he gets the stop gets the clock stopped in a first down it's first and ten we're gonna find Robinson there over the middle of nine yard completion now it's second and one. Hoyer's dropping back in the shotgun. He's looking. He's got some time. He throws right. He finds his receiver, Taylor. Taylor picks up the first down, a gain of three there. Clock's going to keep ticking notes at 55 seconds. Hoyer dropping back once again. He's going to throw left. He's going to find Robinson, who gets around the man, tries to make a man miss, but he picks up a nice gain of 13 yards there and a first down. We use our first timeout, 45 seconds of play. Getting close to field goal territory. It's second and 10. Hoyer throws it in the middle. He just misses his receiver. Garcon was open. He missed. Him. Third and ten. Hoyer stepping up in the pocket, throwing right. He finds Taylor, who picks up six. We call timeout 30 seconds. Going for him, fourth and five. If we convert, we're in field goal range. And we do just that. We find Goodwin over the middle. He picks up the first down. Now second and ten. Around ten seconds to play. Get a throw right. Try to find Kittle who's hit as he tries to catch that one, and it's incomplete. Now third and 10 with nine seconds to play. Going to throw left. Going to find Carlos Hyde out of the backfield. Carlos Hyde gets inside the 10 to the 9. Shoved out of bounds, though, and we're going to have to settle for a field goal with four seconds of play. Didn't want to take a shot at the end zone. Then time runs out, and we're left with no points. We kick the field goal up and goes one second to play. The Rams 13, the 49ers 6 at halftime. 49ers offense has got to get something going. The offensive line has got to play much better. No rushing game yet so far today. Hoyer's made a little bit happen with his legs, but that's about it for the rushing game. And then so many sacks. Robert Quinn has about three. They've brought the pressure a couple of times. You'll see the halftime stats here. 19 rushing yards to their 44. They have 134 passing yards to R86. No turnovers thus far, though. That is a good sign. We got to keep playing well. Hoyer is 12 of 17 for 121 yards. Not a bad first half, but he doesn't have any help from the rushing game. With Carlos Hyde, seven carries, seven yards. Jared Goff is seven of nine for 143 yards. While Todd Gurley has 12 carries, 44 yards, and that lone touchdown of the first half. We set to take this one in the second half, giving it to Carlos Hyde, who gets nothing once again. No rush game today. Second and ten, trying to go right back to Carlos Hyde. We're making that point of effort. And the emphasis, if I could get that out, four-yard rush to give Carlos Hyde the ball. It's third and six. Hoyer is hit as he throws, and that one's incomplete. And we go three and out on the first possession. That's really how you want to come out of halftime. It's first and ten. Jared Goff's going to run some play action. Throws across his body left side. He's going to find Sammy Watkins on the left side for a first down game at 13. Now first and ten rush for Todd Gurley, who's going to spin. Stiff arm, a nice run by Todd Gurley to the 49ers 45-yard line. First and ten. 
behind Tavon Austin in motion. Haven't heard much, much of him in the receiving game, but it does not matter. Goff finds Sammy Watkins once again. Second and ten now. Goff dropping back. He's going to throw a left. He's going to find Tavon Austin. There he is with a completion of 17 yards. First and ten. Jared Goff stepping up. Here comes the pressure, though. Eli Harold gets in there. He was one-on-one -on -one with Todd Gurley and sacks Jared Goff. It's second and 16. Goff over the middle. Finds Everett for the first down. Down to the three-yard line. A 19-yard pickup. First and goal. Goff dropping back. Throwing left. He finds Everett. Everett gets the pie line and he gets into the end zone and scores. Jared Goff with a nice drive there. Completing pass after pass. The secondary can do nothing. I really like our defensive line on defense. But the, with the injuries we've had so far, it's going to be tough. But here's Carlos Hyde. First and 10. Finally breaking one off. He gets a nice rush there to the Los Angeles Rams 30-yard line. Now first and 10. Here is Brian Hoyer. He's going to throw right. He's going to find Pierre Garçon, who's going to pick up an 8-yard gain there. Now it's third and inches. Going to hand this one off to Matt Breida. Bright is going to get through. He was one defender away from getting to the end zone, but he picks up the first down. First and 10, screenplay set up. As Bright, he runs into his own man, though, and can only pick up one. Looks like he had a lot of room there. Second and eight. Here is Hoyer checking this one down to Robinson. Robinson picks up some nice blocks from Carlos Hyde and gets into the end zone for the 49ers' first, score, first, first touchdown of the day. It's Hoyer to Robinson for the score, and we cut it to seven. But can the defense get a stop? On second and ten, they find Carrier for a seven, eight yard completion. It's going to be a big third and two. Watkins in motion. Giving this one to Todd Gurley, who runs for the first down, a gain of three. Under two to play here in the third quarter. Here's Goff play action. No time, though. Ray Ray Armstrong Jr. gets in there for the sack. It's going to be a third and 23. Goff looking. He's got time. He checks it down left to Davis. Davis with some room, and Davis is going to pick up 24. Needed 23. A little check down. Gets the first down. Playing man-to-man -man coverage. Linebacker couldn't stay with Davis, and the drive continues into the fourth quarter. Todd Gurley with a nice rush there to the 38. First and 10 Goff over the middle. He's going to find Everett. No, it's incomplete. Finally, the secondary is over the, uh, covering these receivers for once. Second and 10 misses the receiver over the middle. Incomplete. Third and 10 Goff. Drop him back. Here comes the pressure. He's going to be grabbed onto, but gets away from it. He's going to step up in the pocket, throws over the middle, finds his receiver. Are you kidding me? We cannot get a break. Second and 18. They're going to give this one to Davis. He's going to pick up about two. It's a third and 16, trying to get off the field. Goff, dropping back, steps up. He's got time. No pressure. It's only a three-man rush. He's going to scramble right with this one, take off with it. He's not going to slide. He's going to fight forward. He picks up 12, but he could not get the first down. It's a fourth and three. The field goes up, and it's blocked. Witherspoon blocks it. Greg Zerline gets his kicked block, and this stays a seven-point game. We needed that one. First and 10, Carlos Hyde, a little momentum coming to the 49ers here after their touchdown drive. Then they block a field goal. Third and five. Here's Hoyer. Here comes the pressure. Checks it down to Hyde. Hyde fights forward. He gets to the 30-yard line. They're going to give him a first down. First and 10, Breda's in the game. It's Hoyer. Checking this one right side. It's to Pierre Garçon. He picks up six yards. Another nice completion. Second and four. It's Hoyer again. He's going to throw this one left. He's going to try to find Garçon, but it's incomplete. Third and four. Trying to convert here. Hoyer over the middle. Finds his receiver, but it's dropped as he gets hit hard. And we have to punt it back to the Rams. Needed a score there. Didn't get one. Here comes the Rams offense. 265 yards passing today for Goff on second and three. He's going to add to that total finding Everett for a five-yard pickup. Second and ten. It's Goff. Dropping back. He's got some time once again. Throws over the middle. He finds Tavon Austin for a big completion to the 49ers 32. Now here's Todd Gurley getting the stretch play on the right side. He's got some room. Jukes back inside. He picks up about six, seven yards. Now it's third and four. A high snap. He gets this one to Gurley on the halfback draw. Gurley stops short of the first down, though. A nice tackle there. It's fourth and one. Another field goal attempt, but this one is good by Greg Zerline. They're trying to put it out of reach. A 10-point game with three minutes to go. We have got to get a score here and get it quick. First and 10, Hoyer to Garcon. It's worked pretty well today. Now first and 10 play action. Throwing this one left. Finding Garcon on a screen pass. He's going to get that one stripped, though. It was opening up perfectly, but it is stripped. And Roby Coleman... It picks that one up and takes it to the 19-yard line. Pierre Garçon, the guy you want to get 
the ball here late in the game. Catches a 10-yard slant pass, one to go right back to him, run the play action, throw a nice screen play, some blocks set up well, was basically getting away from one man, and he was gone. Instead, a defender comes from his side, strips that ball, and now we are looking not not too well, not at all. It's 3rd and 13, they're going to try to throw, but Eric Reed brings the blitz and gets sacked. They're going to attack on another field goal, though, at the 2-minute warning, and it's going to be a 26-13 to lead. Look at the ver Pierre Garçon there on the corner route. That's going to be incomplete. Drops as the defender gets there. Second and 10 over. We're going to find George Kittle here. He gets past midfield. A nice completion there. Trying to pad the stats, really. It's going to be hard to get 13 points here with one timeout and a minute half to go here. Is Carlos Hyde getting out of bounds after a five yard completion? Hoyer's over 200 yards on the day. Second and five. It's Hoyer dropping back, throwing right. He finds his receiver, found him, but threw it out of bounds. It's third and five. Hoyer. Dropping back, steps up in the pocket, had a man open up in the middle, but he gets hit and sacked by Robert Quinn. It's a fourth and ten. Hoyer over the middle, going to find Paulson actually for the first down, a gain of 11 yards. First and 10, the drive continues, and as Hoyer dropping back, he's going to throw it down the seam, but overthrows Robinson, and that one is picked off by Tremaine Johnson. And that's going to be the game. The Rams are going to win this one. Kneel it out with a 26-13 victory. The defense was on the field a lot this game. They played pretty well other than the pass game. Really, at times, was very shaky. We got lucky that Jared Goff missed a few passes. But the offense has got to improve, and we know that. We know that the first year is going to be quite the struggle. We fall to 1-2 and two now after that Thursday night football loss to the Los Angeles Rams. I apologize for the commentary. I'm kind of sick. I'm sure you could tell throughout the whole entire commentary. But that's all right. I will be back and better for the next one. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And wow, Jared Goff is apparently really good. Hey, we're going to be heading into week four with the 49ers. Is it time to put in CJ Beathard yet? I'm not quite sure it is. We'll find out in the next episode, though. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm out. Peace.